Welcome back to Notre Dame Day. I'm Trisha Hart and joining me now in the studio are Hannah Huffman, Michaela Mabry and Brianna Turner. Three key players for Notre Dame women's basketball as they made it to their fifth straight final four and fourth championship game in the past five years. So girls, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you for joining us. Now we have a couple questions for you guys. It was a big season for you. So we're going to start off with Hannah. We're going to go back to the final minute of the South Carolina game. Madison Cable hits the jumper, South Carolina's, calls timeout, you come into the game, what's going through your head? Um, well, there's a little bit of nerves, no doubt, mm -hmm. um, but once coach called my number, there was really not a lot of time to be nervous. I knew that I had a very specific job, and that was to not let South Carolina's best player, Tiffany Mitchell, score, so just went in there, tried to do my best at um, stopping her at any cost, and thankfully it worked out great, and we were off to the national championship. I know, what a great season for you girls. Now, Brianna, congratulations on a great season for Bruce, you. And Bruce. you made the transition. I mean, you're a freshman now going from high school to playing now on, you know, on a very big arena. What was that like? Um, really, it was just an amazing experience this year. Just having awesome teammates like Huff and Mike to <laughs> just look up to. And really just, it's just a lot, a lot of effort, a lot of hard work with my teammates. You know, a lot of stars on this team. We're going to go now to Michaela. You, <laughs> according to the stats, made almost half of all, our, all of Notre Dame's three pointers this year. Now, where did you learn to shoot like that? I'm clearly not graced with any <laughs> athletic ability, so I'm going to turn it to you. Um, well, I have an older brother um, who really showed me how to shoot. Um, he always took me out in the backyard, you know, taught me the proper form, where my feet were supposed to be, and he, you know, kept going out with me every day, just trying to get reps. And I think, you know, I owe the, all the credit to him for that. Now, I know Coach Muffet McGraw has got to ride you guys hard. I mean, this is a team that's been performing for years now. I mean, what's the hardest part about, you know, being on this team? Is there a lot of expectations for greatness? Um, I definitely think there's a lot of expectations, and I think, mm -hmm. It's interesting how we've transitioned to being happy to get into the Final Four to now expecting to get to the Final Four. So I think um, with that expectation definitely becomes a little bit of pressure, but I think with a team of such high caliber athletes, we really thrive off that pressure, and I think we've been performing really well under it these last couple of years. Now, Brianna, I mean, this was your first year on a team that has those kind of standards. Um, talk about your experience in the championship game. I mean, going into a game like that. Um, well, I think I was a little nervous at first, but then I like, got the jump ball and we just started playing. I was just kind of in the game. The first half was kind of rough for me. The second half, I tried to pick it up and play hard with my teammates. Now, why Notre Dame? I mean, what, what, draw, <laughs> what drew you here? It's the best school in the country, so I mean, how do you turn it down? <laughs> I think everyone watching could probably agree with that one. Now, you guys are all returning next year. You guys are juniors. Brandon, you're a freshman. So what's it going to take to make it six straight Final Fours and win it all? I mean, is what's going through your heads? Well, I think definitely it starts in the offseason and it starts right now. Um, we're already getting back in the gym, lifting, um, trying to get some shots up. So I think that with this team, we have a really strong um, work ethic. And I think um, if we continue to push ourselves, and I think it's going to go really well. Michaela? Still practicing those three-pointers all summer? <laughs> Yeah, you know, always doing that. But um, I think, like Huff said, I think we have, you know, really high expectations. And um, I think, like Huff said, again, we have a great work ethic. And, you know, last year we were a very young team. And I think going from a young team to now a more experienced team, I think will help us get back to the Final Four again. Now this question is for all of you. Uh, be honest now with me. Has Brianna ever dunked a basketball at the Purcell? I mean, we're hearing, hearing rumors that you can dunk. Oh, she can really dunk. She really I mean, can. no problem. Like, two steps, dunk it, no problem, walks <laughs> off the court. But like, it's not a big deal. It's I real. I think the best part of Brie, though, is she's very, like, of course she can do it, but like, she's so humble and she doesn't want all the attention or anything that's, like that's that. So she, she I, do it in the game I admire her for that. No. Even she though needs she can it. definitely dunk. How can dunk. you not bring that out on the game? Come on. Wow. Give the people I'm what they want, for the right Brie. opportunity. Next year, you got to promise us. You got to do it once next year. Promise, Brie. Promise right now in front of the camera. In practice, I promise. Right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> in practice, the qualifiers there. So, what are you guys most excited for coming back next year? I think I'm most excited to see how our team develops because I think, again, I thought we were such a young team last year, and we still, you know, for us, we exceeded our expectations. And I'm really excited to see how everybody comes back from the off season. Um, in the summertime and just to, you know, get back to work and see, you know, how great we can be. Now, are you guys going to miss having Jewel on the team next year? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, she's obviously a phenomenal player, yeah. and um, I think, as you saw, she went first in the um, draft, and there's a reason that she went number one, but um, miss her, definitely bummed she's not coming back, but it is what it is, and um, we plan on doing great things, even if she's not here. 
Well, thank you guys all so much for joining us. You guys are all stars. I'm sure everyone <laughs> watching you. has been waiting for this interview. <laughs> now, thank you for also helping us celebrate Notre Dame Day. And good luck with preparing for another year next year. Thank, thank you, you very much.